great, and I'm just like, ooh, okay. And I, I always figure out a one way to do it, but. my channel my name is Lauren and today we are going to be doing this really fun really easy faux braid hair tutorial um it is so simple it looks like you've spent hours on it it looks like some kind of intricate braid but it's actually really easy and all you have to do is three super easy steps no braiding required I really love doing hair but I am terrible at braiding and it's just something that has never come natural to me. I've never been able to really do braids, especially on other people. I can do French braids on myself, but nothing else really besides that. And I did figure out how to do a five strand braid once, but you need a ton of hair to do that. So anyways, if you'd like to see how I did this, be sure to stay tuned for this video. If you'd like to see how I did this makeup, be sure to watch my other video. I'll put a card somewhere. And yeah, so let's jump into the tutorial. So our first step is going to be to part our hair. So I've already done my curls. If you would like to see how I did this, be sure to watch my other video on how to achieve these curls. I will put the card up there. Then it is your choice if you want to leave your bangs in or out. I'm going to leave my bangs out. So. You're just going to section off your bang, then section off the back. And you're gonna stop right before you get to your ear. So you still want your ear covered. So I have this section. Hopefully you can see that. So it's a decent chunk of hair. So then to make it easier, you can either pull or clip this back. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go off my eyebrow. I'm going to section that again. Then I'm going to take a teeny tiny rubber band. I'm going to wrap my hair with it until it's secure. Then all I'm going to do is split that hair. And this is kind of like a topsy tail if you've ever done those <laughs> when you were a kid. And then you're going to just flip it like so. So it kind of looks like a fishtail braid, but it's not really. So then you're just going to kind of pull at it. Make it a little more fluffy. So then we're going to take our next section. And we're going to add. So I'm going to go kind of based off the end of my eyebrow. And we're going to add the previous ponytail to that one. Take our rubber band and literally do the same exact thing. Split it open, pull it through, and pull it up. And you're just going to pull out on both until you get them kind of looking how you want them. I don't have enough hair to make another one. So I'm gonna actually go and get some more hair. I'm gonna kind of pull this back and take this section right behind my ear so that my ear is still covered. I hate it when your ears stick out <laughs> like so. And then we're gonna do that one more time and you can go as far down as you want to if your hair is really short you just have to do two if your hair is even longer than mine you could do four but it's really just kind of personal preference however many you want to do so now you're just going to pull out them all until you kind of get them how you want 
and do them as big, as tight, as messy as you want them. I think we're good. Okay, so then you can either leave them hanging or I like to take a bobby pin and kind of secure them to my head just to make them look a little better. And that way they can kind of stay in place too. And they're not moving all over. Then I like to go back over to this side and just kind of tease them back home over there just to give it a little extra volume. So you can do as many of these as you want. You could do some over here. I like the whole asymmetrical look, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. Like I said, I don't like it whenever my ear sticks out and shows. So I'm gonna take a bobby pin again and I'm gonna go through my bangs. Like that. And that's just gonna help that to hold and cover my ear. So it's not sticking out. And we are done. See, I told you it is really easy. You can do it. It took five seconds. All it is is three steps. Super easy, super trendy, but it looks like you are a hair guru and you spent hours on your hair. So yeah, that is it for this one. If you like this video, be sure to please give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you also hit that notification bell. That way you always know whenever I upload a new video. So yeah, thank you so much again and I will see you in my next video. Bye.